Okay, before we begin, I wanna to say to make a video that you're about to see in 30 minutes with a tight turnaround, you're gonna need a little bit of power underneath the hood, which leads me into the sponsor of this video, which is NVIDIA, and they provided me with the Gigabyte Aero 15 OLED. This thing is a beast of a computer with a lot of amazing stuff under the hood. The number one thing that helped me create this project in rapid fire time under 30 minutes is the fact that it had a next level GPU system built into this. What does that mean? That means that I was able to not have to constantly render or re-export the video to check out the resolution and make sure the video played back. I was able to play it back at a full res the whole time for the video, which is total game changing. How many times do you have to do like the, you know what I mean? We have to like put the video into like one fourth of the quality or one half of the quality and you're kind of watching like a blurry or version you don't have to do that this thing i was able to like literally full res whole time but more about that at the end of the video as well as why this thing can really speed up your workflow and probably eliminate about a quarter of your editing time when it comes to playing back your footage with all that being said let's fly over to albany new york Perfect. I'm here in Albany, New York, in this like very weird and bizarre hotel type situation. Let me just let me just show you what I'm I'm waking up with here. I can easily say this has probably one of the best views of any hotel I've ever ever been at. You ready? Watch this. Watch this. This is great. Ah! <laughs> this is so stupid. Okay, so let's actually get into the meat and potatoes of this video which is how to make movies like this. We are like fish in a big ocean. It may feel like some of us are small minnows while others are sharks. I know I feel this way sometimes. Like I need to scream and shout, to swim harder and faster, to make ripples that gather the attention of others, to be the biggest, strongest, and baddest fish the ocean has ever seen. <sighs> but over time, I've realized that even the biggest sharks floating at the top sometimes wish they were small like the minnows at the bottom, to live the simpler life. Because in reality, a perfectly balanced ecosystem like the ocean requires the minnows just as much as it requires the sharks. We don't need to be the bigger fish, nor do we need to be the smaller ones. Each one that exists, exists for a reason. And that reason is a purpose. You are exactly where you need to be. You never forget that. Whoa. See, editing magic, movie magic. See, that's how, they, if you're like, oh my God, Zach, how did you do that? It's really easy. You just do one frame with nothing and the next frame you cut yourself halfway in. And I know that's like two minute, two second, two second tutorials. That should be a thing on YouTube. Okay, let's cut right into the meat and potatoes of this. I'm gonna be talking about my editing process to create a video in less than an hour. That's right, in like 30 minutes, I assembled that entire video. Now, keyword, assembly. I did spend some time searching out the shots and finding the right ones, but in total, it probably took me about two, three hours to cut that whole thing together. So I wanna talk about how to assemble an epic video in 30 minutes. I literally had 30 minutes because I was gonna get kicked out of my hotel room, hence why I'm here, back in the studio, but I have about 15 minutes uh, before I have to get out of this hotel room. Let's get into my editing process. I'm gonna talk about three to four things that you guys can start doing right away to really speed up your workflow and make banger videos fast. So the first thing to keep in mind when assembling your video together is to create a cherry picked timeline. Now, I'm not gonna sink too far into that right now because I'll have a link to that in the description below for two different videos. One is how to edit five videos, like super cinematic same day edits in about five hours. Uh, and then the other one is uh, how I talk about building cherry picked timelines. <clears throat> Very, very important and super helpful for this process. But let's say you already know how to do that or perhaps you've already organized your footage. Let's talk about now putting into the timeline and making it the best, the fastest, the, the smartest. I would recommend doing one or all three of these auditory things. The first one is to have a narration. We are like fish in a big ocean. Now for this video, I knew to give it a little bit of extra spice and flavor and to speed up my workflow. If I had a narration that brought it all together, it would help so much. So what I did was I recorded 
a, a dialogue about fish and oceans and something that corresponded with the footage so that I had a backbone to my entire story. Sometimes I feel like we are fish in this big massive Sometimes I feel like and there are so many other fish swimming within my like I'm this tiny little Then once I had that dialogue spliced together, I then layered in my music. Now, music is the second auditory thing that it stitched together your visuals. You basically, your audio is sort of the wingman to your visuals. It's able to help and support that footage play out a lot easier. And again, if you're working on a tight timeline, figure out your audio stuff first, figure out like what clips you wanna use. Then when you layer in that to your timeline, make sure you have your audio set because it's just gonna be able to make you breeze through way faster as opposed to doing it the other way around where you're like cutting footage together but you have no backbone. You're like, oh, I'll just throw in a transition here because that'll make this cut together. It's much better to have dialogue or audio because then you're like, okay, like he's talking about a clock. So I'm gonna put a shot of a clock in here or he's talking about fish or minnows or sharks. So I'm gonna add in shots of small fish and sharks. So you see how that works a lot better and again, speeds it up super duper fast. Then the other thing is, let's say you don't have a, a narration, but you have like dialogue or talk to camera, or maybe you're shooting a documentary, you have interviews. Those things are also super helpful and beneficial because again, it is the backbone to your B-roll. So I'd recommend having all of that stuff layered in first before layering in your sort of beauty footage and it's gonna just speed through that timeline way faster. You can layer in all three as well. There's great shows, for example, like Mr. Robot that do this very well, where there's a narration, there's dialogue scenes, and there's obviously also beautiful footage and it plays out really nicely. And again, having your music layered in underneath your video just helps it so much better because you have your little beats that you're like, okay, I'm gonna cut to these beats. And it also determines the type of footage that you're gonna utilize. So for example, if I used like a really fast paced jumpy song, I would probably not use the long, slow, drawn out slow motion shots and use stuff faster and quicker and really gained a lot more elevation than what I would have done with the timeline that I made for the video that you watched. The next thing that I'll recommend is stop before you hit perfection, which is a weird thing to think about. You're like, wait, stop before perfection, how? Um, a lot of us creators, and you've probably heard it, done is better than perfect. It's stopping before, like perfection is the impossible point. Is it an impossible achievement to make something that is perfect? Because even if you made something that was like the, the caliber of perfect in your head, there's still 30, 50 other steps that you can do to get even further than that. And then that that's sort of the top of the staircase keeps getting higher and higher and higher and higher. So it's an impossible place place to meet, but you can get to the point before perfect, which is almost just like, okay, have yourself a cutoff time, deadline, whatever. And that's why I find working with clients or working under deadlines so much better because you have your confines and it's going to make videos exist rather than just being ongoing projects. I find as a creative to make cinematic videos that have a purpose, sometimes I'll sort of delay the start or delay the end time because it's not the right thing and therefore it just never ends up getting made. So have a window of time. And again, like I said, stop before perfection and you're gonna be able to make stuff, you're gonna be able to make stuff fast, and it's actually gonna get out there and people are gonna start watching it, which isn't that why you make stuff. My other two points are uh, color grade. A lot of you have watched some of my videos like, oh my God, you have amazing color grades. Uh, for this video, I really wanted to experiment without using LUTs. I actually just used the presets that were in Adobe Premiere Pro, and then I just adjusted them by using the Lumetri Curve section. If you guys wanna learn a little bit about my process of that, another link to another tutorial in the description below skis. And finally, if there's one cool editing timeline technique, magic stuff that you can do is by using a pancake editing timeline, which basically has as your main timeline on the top, so like the edit that you're like assembling, and then on the second bar, you have uh, your footage that you're pulling from. And that can actually, I would say, speed up your process by about a quarter. So that means you're not going back and forth between tabs, like left and right, left and right, left and right. You have both of them in your in your browser. You can see both of them at the same time. And therefore, you can literally just drag and drop from up and down by literally just by grabbing your one timeline and dragging it up on the top and Adobe Premiere automatically creates the two. When I first started, I'm like, oh, this is super weird and awkward. But trust me, total game changer. Premium Beat has a video on that that I'll try and find and put in the description below. So like I said at the beginning of this video, you're gonna need a little bit of power under the hood. And now it's time to talk about the sponsor of this video, which is NVIDIA, who provided me with this amazing, amazing computer. I'm so blown away by the processing power behind it. And the thing that really blew me away, like I said at the beginning, was the GPU processor that was able to provide me with the speed and quality of resolution that did not sacrifice 
uh, my playback when I came to editing this video. Why is having a great GPU system super important? I'm, now, I'm not super calibrated to all the technical specs, nor should you be. The biggest thing that this computer can do is with the system that's built inside of it, you're able to play back your footage at a at full resolution the entire time. Now my video was 1080p, but this is also doable with 4K footage, 6K footage, and they even say 8K red footage which is unbelievable. The fact that you're able to just play it back at full res is is insane. And so you don't have to play it back at that like that weird blurry stuff, you know what I mean? Like we have to do like either like one half or one fourth or even one eighth and sometimes even one sixteenth of the quality. This thing, full res, full playback, no lagging, no glitchiness. Now this is unique to this line of computers from Nvidia and uh, they've really worked hard to make this possible. And let me tell you, it was super helpful. But the beautiful thing was I was able to export the video as I was getting kicked out of my hotel room in rapid fire time. Now, maybe you're not getting kicked out of your hotel room. Maybe that's an, not an urgency that you're working under, but perhaps maybe you have a tight timeline that you have to cater to. Perhaps you're doing a same day edit video or some sort of documentary that's screening tomorrow or you're uploading your YouTube vlog. Export time is the root of my biggest pain when it comes to doing videos because essentially when you're exporting your computer just sort of you just gotta let it sit there while it does its thing. Having the rapid speed that this thing did when I was exporting my video was super duper clutch to the entire process and it's very helpful when you have to do multiple different exports for different, let's say you've gotta do your Instagram edit, your YouTube edit, your Facebook edit and all the different different like outputs. Um, it's literally saving you probably days of your life by, by having that. Now, the other great thing of having a full resolution playback was the fact that I was actually able to use the beautiful 4K OLED display or OLED or uh, whatever, I think it's OLED, I'm spelling it out, but maybe that's not the right thing. As an editor, as I'm sure you can relate, you're spending a lot of time in front of your computer screen, working away, nose into the keyboard, and that's not necessarily that good for your eyes. And what they've done with this computer with the OLED display is they've created a display that actually isn't so harmful to your eyes. So you're able to put in those long hours of working on a video, as I'm sure you know what it's like, um, and not sacrifice the, the old retinas we got going on here. With all that being said, if you guys are interested in learning a little bit about the powerhouse behind the video that you saw and how you can turn around a video in rapid fire time with a great computer, I'd highly recommend taking a look at the Aero 15 OLED i7 RTX 2070 from the NVIDIA lineup of laptops. And with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in the stuff that I'm babbling on about and wanna learn a little bit more about the stuff that I do, you can check out the, pay, the space where I upload videos. You can get notifications about those videos by pressing a little button down there. You can also press an other button, which gives you notifications and all that fun stuff with the stuff that I'm doing. And then, I don't know, if you wanna take this even further, extend this relationship, make it official. You can follow me at a space where I upload photos, some motivational quotes, and talk about my life sometimes. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Keep making some great stuff, and I can't wait to hear and see what you do with the computer and making videos in such a short time frame. Again, stop before you hit perfection. It's like a really good, useful tool and tip and thing. Okay, goodbye.